Hi guys, Slime McRad here. I actually been wanting to make this type of video. Now this type of video I have been very concerned trying doing because I want to be able to show what the animal looks like. I wanted to be able to give more to you guys, but I have not been able to start anywhere. So best way I am actually going to start is going to just talk about this and this animal that I'm going to first talk about is the very first animal that I've done um, heavily researched on because when I went to Cisnay Zoo, I went to Cisnay Zoo when the very first Sumatran rhino that was born in captivity in 112 years named Andalus. His mother, Amy, his father, Henry. Now, it's interesting enough that, you know, I did this research, and when I did this research, there were fewer than 3,000 Smudgeon Rhinos. And I was actually random selected from a group of kids or front of the Smudgeon Rhinos exhibit. And I just was overflown with how much people cared to see this rhinoceros. And I was picked out of the group by a woman named Bernadette Player. She worked at the crew building in Sisney Zoo in Botanical Gardens. And, um, she asked me what I thought about the baby, what the baby was doing, and she constantly asked me many different questions. And she does a lot of research to figure out you know, how to help animals thrive, and this woman has actually reintroduced Blungo macaws back in the wild, and I believe in 1992. This woman is absolutely wonderful, she's done so much work, and I cannot, I cannot imagine not meeting her, and so, this my rhinos today, there are fewer than a hundred. They are critically endangered. They can live up to 40 years of age. They only bring one calf every three years. And the congestion period lasts about 15 to 16 months. And They are mammals, as you know, I'm an asterisk. They're mammals, they're herbivores, and they um, they are pretty small rhinoceros. They are basically they're the Asian rhinoceros, and they are the only two horned Asian rhinoceros. And they are relatively to be known to be the um, distinct. Ancest, uh, ancestors related to the Ice Age rhinoceros that we've heard about. They are reddish brown haired rhinoceros. Now their diet is basically on uh, fruits, twigs, leaves, and shrubs. And they are from Indonesia or Sumatra. And they are growing the sink due to the fact that not only they take forever to produce, but it's also because of the horn trafficking. It's also due to forced uh, deforesting, and um, they are very small rhinoceros, and they're very solitary. So they are not together type rhinos. They live away from each other, and I remember when I did this first report, I was describing how this rhinoceros looks and I wish I had the first report I did and I drew a picture as well. Now it's I mean you know, <laughs> the Sumatran rhinoceros they are quite interesting little creatures quite honestly and so Due to the fact that I'm learning that there are fewer than a hundred in the wild. Breaks my heart and the numbers are just decreasing. And I'm looking at a picture of this beautiful thing 
and I'm actually going to show you what a Sumatran Rhino looks like. This here is what a Sumatran Rhino looks like. As you see, it has brownish, reddish brownish hair. And it is a three-toed rhinoceros. And you see it does have two horns right there. They are solitary animals, as I said. They're very short little things. Their height typically goes up to almost four and a half feet tall. The males are going to be generally larger than the females. This picture was actually taken from Mrs. Zoo. And as you see, there's no actual background. They edited it out. And my as you see, they are quite interesting looking creatures. And I remember first learning about them. And I'm doing horrible in this video, and I apologize. This is my first endangered species type video that I was wanting to do. This one, the Sumatran rhinoceros. One of my first animals I've done, heavily researched on, and I don't have my report anymore. And it took me a long time to find information about Smudge Rhino because back then, when I was a kid, there was not a whole lot of information. And it took me forever to just find something. And I'm looking through other sites to see if I can find a more pictures. I love how when they show that they're a critically endangered that there's a dinosaur right next to it. I kind of find it funny. I'm going to have to go to images because I can't find anything. That looks like... I'm going to find Mr. Andalus, the one I told you guys about. This picture here is actually the first calf that's born in Susa Zoo in 112 years. This is Mr. Andalus. He was an adorable, handsome little guy. And his mother, who I'll gladly show you, she had passed away years ago. Where the but there she is. That would be his mother. As you see, it says a lovely memory. This is from Susan's site, and she gave three caps. She did a beautiful job, and she was actually the one of the most prettiest ones I've seen. She has this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red and brown tent coat and. I just absolutely fell in love doing this type of research when I was a kid. Now I want to show you this map of Indonesia and this Montrean Island and um, I can't remember what this island is called but as you see this here is historic so they used to be all up here and now this red spots is where they are now. And as you see, there's not that many left where they are compared to where they used to be. And as you see, there are plenty of places that are trying to save this monster rhino from extinction. And there's a lot going on. That there's a lot of zoos trying to breed them, there's a reserve that are trying to breed them, and there's actually a certain valley somewhere that's not been talked about or exposed that over 30 of them are thriving, and we're hoping to see the numbers incline. Now, what I said that we're related to an Ice Age rhinoceros is called a woolly rhinoceros, and I'm a little nervous on this video, and I apologize. I know I seem a little distracted and a little. Eh. It's my first video on this, and I plan on keep doing these videos, and I plan on making better ones, and plan on showing you a lot more than you guys see. Now, all we can do is keep finding people in places that are trying to help 
the smudge rhinos to keep on thriving and doing very well. Now, I'm actually going to end this video now. If you do enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any guys, any way to help me figure out how to do it any better, please say so. I will not get upset if you guys say something. And uh, you guys be good. If you get that. Bye.